actually me. I wondered if you wanted to help me today with a little bit of trapping of rats and stoves. It looks after the local bird life, it protects the offshore islands, and it's good fun. <laughs> You'll need a whole array of equipment for this. It's an 8mm spanner, a wrench. I have seen pliers used, occasionally screwdrivers, but this is really what you need. you'll see pink triangles with numbers on and wooden stoke trap boxes. Okay, so the stoke trap box is, is strong, it's held together by wood, it's, it's got wire so stokes and rats can see the bait and they're attracted to it. They come in through the hole here and there's another one at the other end. Then we open the box, undoing the, the screw, the two traps which at this point are still set and dangerous. We've got a fresh egg and a piece of peanut butter flavoured wax. What we're going to do now is just check the traps that they work. We won't need you to change the bait, this is done regularly by a fella called Adrian, but we might just take that out so I don't break it. The traps are very dangerous, but it clearly works. It's important if there's a rat or a stoat in the trap to be able to reset the trap and make sure it's available so it can take away our pests. Now we put the baits back in the trap before we set them. I pull up the trap, I hold it with one hand, and it's now dangerous again. And the same with the second one. up the box. And then we put the box back in place alongside the road. These traps can be really dangerous. So try not to put your hand anywhere inside the trap. It is possible to do it without touching the trigger. If you catch a rat, lift it out from the side with one hand. Yay! This is a stoat. Distinctive by its black tail and something you can't get quite now, the smell. Mmm. Nice. He's being recycled. This needs to be recorded as a result. Email through one dead stoat. Around Deep Cove we'll find smaller boxes too. These have a little rat trap in them. But the focus of these traps is to keep um, the stoat numbers low in the area but also to keep rats off vessels which are heading out to some of the more precious offshore islands. This one's just like a little black plastic rat trap. 